What's going on guys, Chad Christopher here and welcome to the wood shop. So we just finished up a really cool end table build for my neighbor and today's build is actually gonna be a, a jump box, like a plyo box for CrossFit um, that has like three different measurements depending on how, which way you set it and then you know, you jump on it and you jump off and it's actually an extremely hard workout. I've used one before and I, they suck. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get going with that. It's just one sheet of plywood, a bunch of cuts, and then uh, we're gonna do some like puzzle piecing of it together to add a little bit of extra strength. Um, so yeah, I guess uh, let's dive into that. Okay, so here is our full sheet of plywood. This is just sanded uh, three quarter inch plywood. It's fairly expensive, it's like 50 bucks. You probably don't need this nice of material. So it's four feet by eight feet. We've got plenty here to make uh, the jump box out of it. The most important thing is starting with the straight edge though. Don't trust that it's just gonna be straight right out of, out of the lumber store. So that's what you just saw me do. I just set up a straight edge, clamped it on each side, and then ran uh, my circular saw across the edge so I know this edge is dead straight. It may not be straight in reference to each of these, uh, like it might not be like perpendicular, right? But this edge is straight. So if I come up here and I measure off this, I'm gonna measure my 24 inches. This is a 24 inch by 18 inch box, by the way. So I'm gonna measure my 24 inches this way from this edge. I clamp my, my straight edge again, run that, and now I know I have two parallel straight lines, and then I can square off of those to make my cuts this way. So we need to cut ourselves four squares of 24 inch by 18 inch, and then that's gonna be the, the, the body, the sides and the top and bottom, and then the end caps need to be 18 inches by 20 inches. Uh, so two of those. So let's get to cutting. So all I'm doing here, where I need to make a 24 inch cut off of this mark, I'm measuring up 24 inches, and then I'm adding an inch and a half because that's where I need to put my straight edge because I know from the edge of my circular saw to the actual blade is an inch and a half. So I wanna put my, my straight edge an inch and a half past my cut. So I've got a 24 inch cut. We're going up to 25 and a half inches. I made a mark on this side and on the other side, and now I'm gonna put my straight edge on those two marks. Okay, so this is my cut and this is my cut. So I know those two are perfectly parallel to each other. So now we just need to make a perpendicular 90 degree cut this way. And to do that, I'm gonna be using my framing square here. I'm just gonna measure it up on the edge, just like this, using one edge along my straight cut. And then I can just scribe a cut there. So I know that line is directly perpendicular to this line. Now, once again, I'm gonna take an inch and a half up off of this cut, and then just lop off that edge, throw on my straight edge, and then lop off that edge. Okay, so now I have got three cuts that I made that I know are all straight. So I can now measure from this side 18 inches, and then we'll just cut our body parts. So, don't cut your body parts. Cut, cut the, the body, you get it. Okay, so we're going 18 inches up here. And then again, we're gonna mark 19 and a half because that's where we want a straight edge. Do the same thing on the other side. Steal some clamps this time so it doesn't move on us. And there we have it, our very first piece of 18 by 24. Let's measure this. So we are dead at 18, coming this way, dead on at 24. So that's what all those extra steps of making sure you have straight lines get you, is anywhere I measure on here, it's gonna be dead on 18 by 24. If you go off the factory edge, which might just have a very slight angle or something on it, one part might be 18 by 24, over here might be 19 by 25, whatever. It can exaggerate a little bit as you go. So that's why I always like to start with straight edges and then measure from those straight edges. So anyways, uh, that's our first piece. I'm gonna go ahead and cut three more of those so we have a total of four of these pieces. 
Okay, so we got all of the, uh, the frame pieces built. We've got four of the 18 by 24s, and then we've got two of these end caps, which I realized have to be 18 by 18 now looking at it. So yeah, this is just a square 18 by 18. Now here's where things get tricky. I mean, you can just stack these on top of each other and screw them in and call it a day. If you do that, you'd have to subtract uh, the width off of. What I'm going to do is like interlock them. You can kind of see right here. This is what I'm calling my top panel. And you can see I drew little rectangles along the edges. And I'm actually gonna cut these out. So anywhere that has this, I'm gonna cut out. So all I did was I measured from one edge to the other. I took that in thirds. And then I took the center third and I, I marked that to be taken out. And then on the next panel, I did the opposite. I measured it in thirds, and then I'm gonna take out this panel and this panel. You know, on the sides, I need to match it up so that the this side panel has this insert, and then these two sides female, so that they sit into each other. And uh, it's gonna, th I mean, think about how much extra support that provides, right? Like you've got like board under here adding extra support. It's confusing to explain all that, but I think you understand. Uh, if you have any questions, just Google like CrossFit plyo box and you'll see like all the big names, Rogue, stuff like that, they do this. And I think it's because it provides a ton of additional support as well as it does add a lot of aesthetic value to it. So anyways, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna cut out all these things with a jigsaw. So I'm just gonna use this jigsaw. You can do it, I mean, you can do it with a handsaw, you can do it any way you want. I'm gonna use a jigsaw cause it's got a straight edge and then I'm gonna hook my straight edge up to it. So hopefully I can get really nice notches. I've tried this before and it didn't work perfectly, so I don't know, we're gonna do our best. But uh, yeah, that's the goal right now. Straight edge with a jigsaw. All right, so we got the, uh, the puzzle pieces all cut out here and they're looking good. So we have the four body pieces and then the two end caps. Now my plan here is to just assemble like two sides at once using clamps. I'm gonna glue the edges and then also put screws in. So probably like, you know, the other side's here, probably two screws and two screws. So, and then, you know, two screws. So probably six screws per edge. So let's try to figure out the best way to, to clamp all this. Okay, so we got the first two panels put together. I just wanna show you how they're looking. So as I mentioned, we had glue on the inside and then we've got two screws on like the inner notch and then two screws on each of the outer notches. So there's six screws total per edge as well as glue. So I'm gonna go ahead and assemble the rest of the body here and then uh, we'll put the end caps on. All right, so here's the frame all built up. We've got a couple assistants in the shop right now. <laughs> Um, so this is the, uh, the frame all assembled up. Now before I throw these end caps on, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, take a hole, a hole drill and, and drill out like a three inch by like, I don't know, half, inch and a half or so, um, just for a handhold. So we've got one of those on each side when you pick this box up and then we'll, we'll probably throw a router with a round over around the entire edge just to make it a little bit nicer on your hands and then we'll assemble everything. We got it all assembled. There's only one thing left to do. Cross the fingers that the uh, that the brand ends up working. Set you right here. Woo! That would be that smooth. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Go ahead and focus. There it is. The dojo vault, dojo vault. <laughs> 
There it is. The Dojo Built brand on our very first completed pile box. Check that thing out, man. That's really nice. Okay, we're gonna jump up. Okay. It. One big jump, okay? So we have a, a volunteer to see how sturdy this thing is. Oh, it's so strong! Oh, it's Show just put, <laughs> We're gonna put this over it so that we don't get our shoe prints on it. But, and this ground isn't level, so the thing kind of rocks a little bit, but let's see, first off, if this thing will hold Evie chan You ready, squat? Squat. Squat down. Squat down, ready? Squat, <laughs> one, two, three! Oh. Oh. All right, it passed the baby test. <laughs> Will it pass the mama test? Oh, what the? <laughs> I wanted to practice first. <laughs> you don't gotta jump up there, just like step up there. Yeah, okay, ready? Okay, squat. 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 It's gonna be squat. One. Squat, good girl, and jump. Oh. Cool. What if it breaks? Oh my god, that'll be so embarrassing. <laughs> there it is. Da, 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 Only mama and baby. And baby. And baby. <laughs> nice. You show me your muscles? You strong? Ooh. Strong? All right. Well, there it is. The finished box. And uh, honestly, I'm really stoked with the way this thing came out. To finish it up, I did run uh, just like an orbital sander across pretty much all the edges here, all the cuts, things like that, just to smooth everything out. You can see the brand ended up really, really nice right there. The handles were money to move this thing. They feel really nice and like that round over really adds a lot to being able to hold this thing. Um, but yeah, man, super stoked on this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit jealous of this. I wish I could just keep this because I need it in my home CrossFit garage here. I'm certainly gonna end up building myself one of these as well. Um, so just like last time, we're still in the quarantine kind of lockdown phase. So I'm just gonna drop this off on uh, the person who orders this, this porch. So big shout out to Angie. Thank you so much for trusting me with this build. I hope that you love it. I hope it lives up to your expectations. And I hope that you just get sweat all over this thing, man. I hope it gives you tons and tons of awesome workouts. So anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. If there's like any specific builds you guys wanna see, let me know. Uh, or if you wanna custom commission a build and work together with me and make something awesome, I would love to do that as well. Uh, the contact information for that is down in the description below. So once again, that's all I've got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and I will see you for another build next time. Peace out.